Hello everyone, with The Walking Dead returning to our screens this week, I thought in today's video I'd show you how to make Negan's Bat Lucille from The Walking Dead. To make the bat itself I decided to use this, a 27 inch cardboard tube, the kind you generally get in rolls of wrapping paper. To create the dips and curves of the bat I decided to use sheets of paper to build up layers. Starting with the top third, all you need to do is attach a sheet of paper to the top of the tube using glue or tape. Then roll it up and secure it in place. Then just repeat getting thicker towards the end to create a tapered effect. Until you're happy with how it looks, then trim off any overhang and now we can focus on the bottom half of the bat. Repeat the same process for the bottom 4 or 5 inches to create a curve, and to help make a dip section on the lower half of the bat where our grip will be. A few minutes later you should have a little something like this. Now we've got the basic silhouette of the bat we need to work on the ends. Take a sheet of foil and scrunch it up, then fit it inside the end of the bat, and round it off to cap off the end. Then scrunch up another sheet of foil for the bottom half, but this time flatten it into a disc shape to replicate the butt of the bat. And with that the basic foundation is complete. All we need to do now is strengthen and secure everything in place with paper mache. For the paper mache mix together two parts PVA glue with one part water into a disposable container. Then dip in sheets of kitchen paper or paper towel to cover it, and give it some texture. When the whole thing's covered, leave it to dry overnight, and 24 hours later everything should be set. Now to make the barbed wire which wraps around Negan's bat, take a length of string long enough to wrap around the top half. Then using a hot glue gun create a three stripped piece like this. Along with two slightly longer pointier pieces. When dry peel them off and attach them together to replicate the sharp points of the barbed wire. Secure in place on your string And then all you need to do is repeat as many times as you need to fill up your length of string. When your bat and wire is finished, the final thing you'll need to do is give it a quick coat of paint and add any detail.
I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think or if you end up making this for yourself down in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, check out my models and props playlist for more projects and crafts just like this. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. It really would be greatly appreciated. Remember to leave any suggestions for future model or prop videos you'd like to see down in the comments. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.